self-care is very intimate and vulnerable. Um, but I think self-care for everyone is so important. Um, it's important because when you engage in self-care, it tells your brain that like you're worth something. You're worth love. You're worth intimacy from yourself and from other people. Um, and because I've kind of had like a hard day today, it's Christmas day, um, I just felt like even if it was just doing a little face mask and like moisturizing and doing and doing some really shitty stretches and then making myself a cup of tea and having green apples, like that's better than neglecting myself. I've found in my life when I haven't been engaging in self-care, it's when I'm like more depressed and more unhappy and more negative. Um, so yeah, I when I was letting my face mask sit, I wrote down all the things I'm grateful for today. I've been doing actually a lot of self-love journal prompts and they've been hard, but like they're so worth it because it's a reminder that I'm worthy and that like what other people have told what other people have said to me isn't always true about who I am. Um yeah, I've also been making like little stickers for my journal. That's been fun. I'll show you guys what I've made. I want to show you without like showing you what the fuck is in my journal. That little pumpkin right there. A little ghost that I made. And then another really fucking sick one. I feel like a lot of you will like this. I have no clue what page I put it on. Um, this is a skateboarder. I collect magazines, so I have, like, I collected them since I was 17. So I have a fuck ton of surfing magazines, skiing magazines, skateboarding magazines, ghost hunting magazines. And you know how when you buy magazines from, like, well, in Canada, it's called Chapters. I think in America, it's Barnes & Noble. Or, like, when you just buy magazines from fucking anywhere, there's, like, that, like, thick paper that you can subscribe to get it in the mail every year. You can like pay for a yearly subscription. That's what this was from. Yeah, I'm gonna hide what this says as well. It's just a little skater. My teeth are so fucking sensitive. I'm excited to enter my new sun cycle. I like calling it a sun cycle because there's just something so much more hopeful. Like, saying sun cycle is so much more, like, magical than saying new year. Like, new year's just, like, another day, another year. But sun cycle is, like, I turned 20. I was about to say I turned 23 soon. I turned 22 soon. No clue what I'll do on my birthday. Tried to tattoo myself the other day. It looks like shit. I'll show you guys. This is to the moon. I know my line work is horrible. I know my line work is horrible. And I know you're probably like, dude, that's on you for fucking ever. But this would be easy to get properly done by a professional. And I only live once. I don't give a fuck that it looks a little bit raggedy. I think it's actually a nice little memory. I did it for myself. I feel very connected to the moon. And it's kind of nice because it says to the moon. And then I got this little ghosty tattoo with the moon here. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I might just start recording me journaling. I don't even know. Maybe. I don't know when I'll post this. Because I, I want the video to be like more whole and fulfilling. Because when I create things, I want them to be like fucking amazing i want them to be life-changing and i want to feel fulfilled by my work and i know if i post this i won't fully feel fulfilled by it i've been learning how to ollie again i used to be able to do a really shitty ollie when i was 17 like could barely get my board off the ground could but like it was a shitty ollie i've been practicing that learning how to ollie i haven't tried in a couple days but i've been getting my board off the ground I just gotta work on like getting the jump in right because I like I got everything down I'm struggling with two things I get so focused on like jumping high 
that I forget to like slide my foot. So I gotta work on that. Fucking love orange pico tea. Peace. Hey guys, it's January 1st. 12 days away from my 22nd. Oh my god, that's so weird to think about. I'm watching The Walking Dead. I'm almost done season 10, which is so sad because like, I'm almost done the whole fucking show. I miss Rick. I miss Rick. I also really miss um Carl, but I'm almost done the show. At least I can watch Fear the Walking Dead, but it's just like, oh, I don't know. Um, the I engaged in a little bit of self care today. Um. I cleaned my room. I cleaned my whole room and I I rearranged my room. And what I mean by that is I shifted everything five inches to the right. <laughs> so my bed is my bed is five inches closer to that wall. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just did some yoga. I had a shower. I just did some journaling. Um I did a tarot reading, an oracle reading, talked to spirit, told me, they told me some things I need to start doing, which like for those of you who don't believe in spirit, even if it's a placebo effect, like, which I don't believe it is, but like when you know how to read tarot, like sometimes, even if it's just a placebo effect, like pulling a card that's like get off your ass and go do something with your life, like you need to hear that sometimes. Um, or like, I can't really, dis I don't really want to like disclose um, what I just did a reading on. I need some like chapstick. I don't want to disclose what I just did a reading on because it's like private. <laughs> Sorry, I just like thought about how when some YouTubers put like chapstick on, they like zoom in and they make that, they like, I don't even know what I'm talking about, never mind. Um, and I already knew, like, I've already thought about and already, like, knew that I need to do the stuff that the reading was telling me to do. But again, it was just, like, a reminder to, like, just do it, even if it's scary, um, or hard, or feels impossible. And sometimes, us as humans, we just gotta hear that stuff, because we get so caught up in our daily life. Also, you already saw the painting. I just did a little video and inserted it, but I painted this when I was 17. So it's the Starry Night, but like recolored. I did like red tones instead, and then the creation of Adam, just the hands though, when I did that. And I did mixed media for the hands. Oh my god. Oh my god. So it's oil and acrylic, and I use different tools. So. You can tell here, like, I used a knife on the hands, and I used a, a brush. I forgot what the knife was called. But yeah, that's my painting. I'm proud of it. Can't believe I did that shit at 17, because I can't do shit now. I, like, am not good at drawing now. Also, this stuff is a lifesaver. Buy this. Anyways, I just thought I'd say hi and happy new year. I am enjoying The Walking Dead. I'm going to be sad when it ends. Ooh, one thing I'm going to treat myself to for my birthday is The Last of Us 2 is now remastered. And the remastered edition is coming out, I think, the 19th of January. And if you already own, like, the original Last of Us 2, it's only $10 to upgrade to the remastered. And there's new gameplay. You can now play as, like, Dina and the Lev and, like, other characters. And you can, like, dress characters in different outfits. I don't know. I'm excited. That's my favorite game ever, as you can tell. Um, I think I'm going to do that as a gift for my own birthday. I think that'd be pretty sick. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in, say Happy New Year. I don't really have 
much else to talk about. Um, sorry if this video sucks. I, like, don't have money to pay for, um, rights to music right now to put in my videos, so it's kind of boring to watch, I'm sure, but, um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's more, like, raw without the music in it, I find. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has an amazing sun cycle. <laughs>